Basically I've been here since 1999 and I've seen massive changes occurring in that time. We are listening to our community, we're talking to our community and finding out this is the community school and so we need to know what the community wants and, uh, and I think that close relationship between um, you know, home and school is vital for students to succeed at school. When I started high school, I was in year seven and I was very shy coming out of primary school. I hadn't really given many opportunities to show my leadership or even learn how to become a leader in public speak and everything like that. And then going on into year nine, into year 10, coming to this school also, I really um, made use of the opportunities that were around and it helped me grow my leadership, my confidence, so I could, you know, become a better leader and yeah, really make my high school time worthwhile. There's about 97 leadership opportunities for students across this campus. Peer leaders, SRC, student voice, to name just a few opportunities that students have. Which is um, different than in a 7 to 12 school because often those opportunities are taken by the year 11 and 12 students. So it's a great opportunity being here for students to have those leadership roles. At Brisbane Water Secondary College we provide a number of different uh, leadership opportunities for our students. Um, and that allows them to go above and beyond what's expected of a normal Year 7 to 9 student. They come in at Year 7 usually and they're, they're keen and excited to get involved in the SRC and throughout the years you find that their leadership skills are enhanced throughout those three years. They, from Year 7 when they're asked to go up and speak in assembly they're really nervous and um, they don't feel comfortable but by Year 9 they can get up and they can talk to an audience and they, they can communicate with other students throughout the school. You also see them making decisions throughout the school. Um, I know that this year that we've been involved in, especially Student Voice, has been involved in making decisions throughout the school. This year I was lucky enough to be the coordinator of Student Voice and that's an initiative where students get to be part of the changes of the school, so the improvements of the school we've had this year and there has been a lot. Just yesterday we had all other schools on the Central Coast visit here and go through a student symposium with a student voice about giving students a voice to tell us what they want. All the students that are involved in student voice come together and talk about what happens at their school and maybe we can take things on that they're doing and they can take things on that we're doing at our school. Student voice the other day we have a look at our kids talking about all the things that are happening at our school and they're talking with such pride they're sort of saying that we've got this change and we've led to this and this is where we want to go into the future these are the type of things that make you incredibly proud as a principal you're thinking wow this is this is really going well. I love teaching agriculture at this school because we have um, two hectares here, which is our classroom. It's a very interactive classroom. We've got pigs, sheep, cattle, poultry. We've got a citrus orchard, hydroponic vegetable production and a greenhouse where we grow vegetables. And the students get to interact with all those plants and animals. So it's very experience based learning uh, and it's a lot of fun. This very year we've built a poly house, which is a plastic greenhouse. We've incorporated technology and innovation into that because we have thermostats that control the walls. We have automatic irrigation that waters the plants either by drip or by sprinklers. So we can use those sorts of facilities to teach the students all about current technology and agriculture in a more industrial capacity. Some of the highlights we've had this year would be our show program. We went to Sydney Royal where we won the supreme sow of the show across all breeds. We won a number of silver medals and bronze medals and ribbon places. At Canberra Royal this year we won the champion school um, steer of the whole show. We take busloads of students away, a truckload of cattle and we go camping for a week to regional shows and also to the Royals and it gives the students an opportunity to really rise to a professional standard in presenting the cattle and also developing their ability to judge cattle and parade them effectively. I'm in the cattle show team at the farm so we get to go on trips and lead cattle around and sell them so actually this weekend we're going to a show called Scone and I might be able to lead a cow at Scone. One of the other highlights this year was we took um, 20 students out to the central west of New South Wales. We camped on Richard and Heather Cole's property in a shearing shed that was about 160 years old. The students got to milk 90 head of cows in the morning at 5 in the morning. They were down working the commercial dairy. They marked lots of lambs. They helped work with cattle. 
We visited large cropping properties, merino studs, and we competed in an interactive pig show with a lot of country schools. We got to watch pig auctions and a sheep auction, and we also got to prepare a pig and do judging. My pig that I was with one third for our preparation. There has been a lot of change in agriculture since I started. Agriculture is an evolving industry in the world at the moment. We're seeing innovation and change across all factors of life. Food is a huge issue. Climate challenge is a huge issue. So agriculture is keeping abreast of big changes globally and we of course need to adjust our curriculum to stay abreast of those changes in preparing our students for future career paths in the industry. One of the things that I wanted to do when I took over as head teacher was to look at the types of texts that we give to the students. What do we want our students to be reading? How can we engage our students in reading? It was really nice to hear that um, when our, we had a new librarian start at the beginning of this year and one of the first things she said to me was, there's a really lovely culture of reading in this school. Susie Murray, Head of English, and I came up with the idea for Ride On about three years ago. And it's a year nine elective and it enables students who love to write and love to read to create their own texts. This class is a very close-knit class. It gives them a chance to collaborate. We just model ideas. We work with digital stories. We work creating picture books. We work writing narratives and poetry. We've visited the art gallery. And most of all, I think, we open up worlds. Some of them will most definitely go on to writing careers, whether they're novelists, playwriters, or any other field like that. I've never seen students write as well as these ones do so young. It is simply a joy to teach. I'm so lucky. Each week they grow, each week they ask questions, they collaborate. We have such a lot of fun and all the time in the background, their powers of description are growing. So I, honestly, I could say, I've written all my life, I'm a former journalist and I'm a fiction writer, but I've never seen students embrace writing the way these students have. Because these students are visual learners. They are 21st century learners. They need to be able to write, work, think on different platforms. And this is what I think Write On does in a very collaborative, small, fun way. The best thing that happened to me at school this year would probably be woodwork at school with Mr Reynolds. And uh, what, last year I was thinking to be a carpenter and do all those type of things with wood and um, yeah, using like the wood around me, so if I need to make a table, um, I could just make one if I needed to, so yeah. I teach industrial arts here at Brisbane Secondary College, and that's part of a bigger faculty or KLA technological applied studies. Uh, TAS encompasses everything from textiles, uh, food technology, metalwork, woodwork, agriculture, and building construction. This year we've looked at restructuring the whole of the workshops, uh, refitting them. We've had um, some generous grants from the school principal to be able to fit out the workshops so that the, stu the student centre learning becomes the focus. That's allowed us to specialise in, in a course like Creative Wood where students can design their own alaya, which is a type of timber surfboard. Uh, design their own skateboards from their own research and manufacture those and we have a, a group at the moment who design their own rocket powered cars that they'll race uh, for, to become champions of the school. Some of these cars go on a scale speed over a thousand kilometres an hour so they're quite quick. Infrastructure wise around the school we're starting to see big changes in things like the uh, bike compound there. Uh, there's been uh, probably about $30,000 of um, infrastructure going to there. We um, used our uh, leadership group, the Aspire Boys, the Year 9 leadership group, to install that facility and that then allowed them to develop team skills as well as pick up some skills in construction and, and assembly along the way as well. They can see their skills grow and that's the great thing about um, trying to get students to take measured risks um, to challenge themselves and then the reward of seeing them develop their skills and confidence to at, at then attempt more complex projects is, is probably the most rewarding part of teaching industrial arts. First of all I'm a PE teacher here, uh, I've been teaching here for uh, seven years. I also take on an elective uh, which is called bushcraft. They love it because it's so practical. There's bike riding skills, bike maintenance. I take them to the, the pool of the Peninsula Leisure Centre and we do a snorkeling unit. That's part, actually part of their assessment. Um, and then we do outdoor ed stuff. So we're, 
we're learning how to survive outdoors. Last year, actually, we incorporated the Duke of Edinburgh program into bushcraft as well. It's these experiences outside of school, again, that you know, instilling confidence and um, sort of keeping them really motivated uh, and passionate about you know, getting out and um, pushing the boundaries, pushing the limits. At the end of the day, any, any school should be um, should be listening to their students and you know, giving them the opportunities that they deserve and that's what we did here at Brisbane Water. Students will say to me, what sports do you have available at your school? And, um, and I'll say to them, basically, if you can come up with a sport that you're interested in, there will be a staff member who will put their hand up because that's the sort of staff that we have here. Rugby league's a, 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 an area of strength at, at our school, so we've identified that and implemented a targeted sport class for year seven and eight. We have um, several visitors throughout the year, the NRL guys um, toured around the school with the uh, NRL trophy showing showing that, that piece off and um, our guys got to attend that. Um, we also run a backyard league program for, for all students in year seven, eight and nine so the NRL development officers come in and run that program for a month or so each year. We um, finished in the final three of the Buckley Shield and the state grand final of the New South Wales All Schools and we're also runners up in another statewide rugby league competition and a Central Coast Championship this year for our young guys, the under 13s team. I'm also doing futsal. Uh, so at a school level we go to um, Central Coast uh, for the regional titles. Then we made our way through to a national level. So we competed against schools all over, this, over Australia. And from that um, tournament, two of the girls from here were selected in the Australian team, and they'll be going to America next year to compete in the international titles. So a very proud moment for me, definitely. I actually helped invent handball. I uh, identified a need in primary school for my schoolmates to be more involved in uh, during lunch times. That's not really true. I didn't really invent handball, but I am very good at it. And I've won the six of the last seven handball competitions, only bowing out dramatic circumstances in 2014 and I'm currently in the handball competition grand final for 2015 and I'm very confident that I'll take that one out too. I do nursing so as um, a TAFE course so I'm doing TAFE while in school also as another course and they have a lot of different facilities at this school that really promotes the individuality in what you want to do. So they have music rooms, they have dance rooms, drama rooms, the nursing unit, they have woodwork rooms, really high equipped ones. And they have everything, all the equipment to help you do what you want to do. I um, came here in 2002 from the broadcast industry and I very quickly then introduced the entertainment industry which was a brand new initiative from the Board of Studies. We've built this wonderful studio that we have here all the students are involved in the design and the creation of audio engineering, lighting, moving head and robotic technology, which is really good. Something that's already started at the Uminer campus, which is fantastic. And then we get these really motivated kids and we step them up to the next level. I'm constantly getting emails and lots of students on Facebook saying, look, I'm overseas, I'm touring Europe, I'm touring the country, I'm working for Channel 7, Channel 2 and all this. So it's just an absolute wonderful experience for the students just to be able to record and get into a recording studio environment. People often say to me, you know, what's it like being a teacher? And um, I would say to them that it is the best job in, in the world. I can honestly say that I have not had a day where I haven't wanted to come to work and that is so much, big, uh, so much about this place. Um, I think that the students we have here are amazing and I love their, um, their energy and their you know, desire to, to learn and I, I love being part of that. I love to be at Brisbane Water Sackley College because there's so many people, you can make a whole lot of new friends, there's more activities they can do in pri than primary school and yeah, like, it's been heaps of good fun, love it so far, I don't think I'll ever not love it. What I love about Brisbane Water Secondary College is, is that we, we are all about evolving and growing what we do. I sort of find that, that every teacher here is so committed to improving what they do and, and in my time that I've been here I've just seen so many continual improvements take place. I love teaching at Brisbane Water Secondary College because not only are the staff here amazing but the students are amazing too. Anyone who knows me knows how proud I get of uh, what we are able to achieve here I mean, and what these kids can do. Um, the level of enthusiasm with our kids and our staff is just amazing and you know, to pull this sort of stuff off and to stand here and see what, you know, what we are capable of is just incredible. I bound out of bed 
I love coming to work because I'm so passionate about teaching and um, being able to give, have that opportunity to make a difference in their lives and it's such a rewarding process. We have fantastic students that come from very varied backgrounds and they're just so enthusiastic and beautiful to work with and I have one of the best farms in residential school in New South Wales. That's our resource which we can use to teach these students great skills. The great thing about coming to a school like Brisbane Water Secondary College is the the level of friendliness and the happy-going nature of both staff and students. It's just the kind of relationship you establish with the kids. It's more than just a, a student-teacher relationship. You actually do care about each other's lives um, and you're trying to make that person feel that they're important to you. The teachers, the staff is collaborative, it's fun in the staff room, but of course that is what drives how much fun it is in the classroom, I think. We have high expectations and we really care about the student population and the students in our school um, are so loyal. What's really wonderful for me in coming back is to feel I really belong to a community and the community belongs to the school and the school belongs to them. I love Brisbane Water Secondary College because it's a whole new bunch of people getting put together, all strangers from the beginning, but then we end up being all friends working to the same goal in completing Year 12. Look, I love teaching here at Brisbane Water Secondary College because I, I have a lifelong passion for learning and I find that all of the teachers here have that same passion and, uh, and I just love the opportunity each day to allow kids to kind of to grow and to kind of touch on that same understanding where they can actually see that, 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 that learning goes well beyond your education at school. I love being at Brisbane Water Secondary College because it feels like a second home. It's my, all my friends are here. I learn so much and I just enjoy being here. I absolutely love working here because we are really making a difference. Every day in every class I know that we're going really well and the school's on the improve. I really think that's fantastic. I love my job, I love coming here and I love doing this day after day. And I can go home over night time and just be proud of what we do. It's, it's, it's great. I love teaching at Brisbane Water Secondary College because I'm working with creative people. They're not students, they're young men and women and they absolutely embrace the technology and they teach me. One of the things I love about being at Brisbane Water Secondary College is uh, there's a diverse range of students that come to our school and we all have different uh, ideas of what we want to be and the school caters really well for that. I love being at Brisbane Water Secondary College because they allow me to be me. The thing that I love most about teaching here again and coming back is the fact that I can give back to the place that gave me so much as a student and nothing has changed in that regard to that feeling of belonging and that feeling of you know you're a part of a big team or a big family and even coming back as a teacher you make that connection with your students and you remember those teachers that made an effort to get to know you and I want to be that teacher who can make an effort to get to know my kids so that way we can make a really positive classroom experience for them all. It's just that big feeling of being a family here at Brisbane Water Secondary College. Thank you.